reason number 561 to never move to Massachusetts, as if you needed another one. A Harvard graduate student has been threatened with eviction from her Massachusetts apartment because her roommates found out she's a legal gun owner and it made them anxious. Let it snow, let it snow and snow. After a confrontation with her roommates, she was told she had to choose between her guns and her apartment. But you see, living in Somerville, Massachusetts, 24-year-old Layla Perney knew about the anti-gun climate and had chosen not to tell her roommates about her politics or her guns. So how did they find out? How silly of you to ask. Of course, they searched her room while she was away. She told the Washington Free Beacon, A few weeks ago, I came back to my apartment from a weekend trip and was confronted by one of my roommates, who asked if I had guns in the house. After being told far too many lies to count, my roommates finally admitted that they searched my closet, under my bed, and all of my drawers in pursuit of finding my guns. But why did they feel so compelled to search her room? Because they saw she had a MAGA hat and is from Alabama. Because apparently having a red hat and being from the South makes you a second class citizen without the luxury of privacy and property rights. The roommates put two and two together and just assumed that she had something and became determined to find it. When Layla asked her roommates why they didn't just ask her about it, one girl told her that fear took over her body and she felt compelled to search my room until she found proof. Do you know what she did? What ensued afterwards was a whirlwind of nervous emails and a very thinly veiled eviction notice. Once the roommates found the guns, one of them chose to email landlord Dave Lewis, the president of Avid Management, a property management company that had only a one-star rating on Yelp even before this happened. The roommate wrote that they urgently needed his attention and action, requesting immediate intervention because the roommates were feeling uncomfortable and unsafe. According to the email, Layla explained to them that she was properly licensed and in legal compliance, but the roommates insisted that their presence causes anxiety and deprives us of the quiet enjoyment of the premises to which we are entitled. They then demanded she keep the guns locked up with trigger locks, unloaded, and locked in a gun safe, which is more than even the state requires. And to top it all off, even with all of those safety measures in place, the roommates were concerned that the guns would just go off on their own, randomly shooting people in the dead of night, and so requested that the unloaded double locked guns be stored without their firing pins. Because in a home or self-defense situation, you want to be fumbling with a fire pin and trying to put your gun back together. Ain't nobody got time for that. They also apparently didn't believe she was licensed because they demanded she still go and get all the proper licenses and permits and that if she didn't comply with all of these requirements, she would have to move out. This email then inspired the landlord to call the police to come and inspect the apartment and the guns in question. To their surprise, the police confirmed that all the guns are legal and were being stored appropriately and scheduled Layla for a police interview this month as part of her permitting process. It seems she had only been living in the state since September, and Massachusetts does allow a 60-day grace period for new residents to obtain the proper licenses. Seeing as this happened in late October, I'm guessing she was still within this window because, to my knowledge, she hasn't been arrested or slapped with a felony. The landlord then went on to say that, because Layla has a, quote, difference in philosophy and lifestyle, and thought it absurd that she would have to choose between her apartment and her guns, it would be best for all parties if she finds another place to live. He didn't give Layla any other options, but so generously offered to waive the $250 roommate change fee. He also asked everyone to remember that, we are all human beings with our own thoughts, opinions, and beliefs that all need to be respected, unless you're a conservative gun owner. And then reminded everyone that one of the roommates is a French girl with PTSD and is probably suffering because of Layla's guns. Oh, and she would have to move out in the middle of finals week, which is basically death to a grad student. 
Now, to be fair, as landlord, this guy can do pretty much whatever he wants with his property, including kicking people out of it. And I can see the economics of his side, losing the rent from one tenant versus losing the rent from the rest of the tenants. But how the landlord and roommates got to this point is beyond shady. And if the roommates had just minded their own business to begin with, none of this would be an issue. Up until they went snooping in her room and found her guns, the roommates all thought of Layla as a valuable housemate. Another thing to consider here is Massachusetts has really crazy tenant laws, which is probably the only thing that has stopped the landlord from handing her an official eviction notice. Eviction in Massachusetts is a long process that requires a whole bunch of court appearances and legal fees, and the courts are almost always on the tenant's sides. Nowhere in the lease did it restrict firearm ownership or storage, and Layla did not stop paying rent, so the guy wouldn't have much of a case. They have a contract that she did not violate. So instead, this guy is telling Miss Perny that she can either move out on her own accord, or the roommates will all move, and she can foot the $6,000 rent herself. He gave her no options, but told Layla that this isn't an ideological issue. It was merely a practicality because feelings were hurt. Hurt feelings is not a reason to force someone out of their home. Doing so is a breach of contract, and I can't imagine that flying in the courts. Well, okay, so it might fly in the liberal courts of Massachusetts, but let's be real, this girl goes to Harvard. She's not exactly a hardened criminal. I get the roommates not wanting to live with her, but political differences does not give you the right to violate someone else's privacy and their private property, and that's the part that none of them are talking about. Layla and her father have both refused the landlord's deal, and Perny has lawyered up. Personally, I wouldn't want to live with any of these folks at this point anyway, but I understand why Layla is standing her ground. She told the Free Beacon that she became a gun owner after a college relationship turned physically abusive. That's a pretty good reason to own a gun. But no one has asked her about that, and no one has even tried to understand her side. Instead, they've just condemned her as someone who owns things that scare them. That is both your liberty-related and firearm <laughs> news for the week. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you really like my videos and want to help support my channel in other ways, you can do so over at Patreon or through a one-time donation through PayPal or Bitcoin. Until next week, thanks for watching and helping me to spread the message of liberty.